Well, hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? I hope you're well, and I hope you're happy and excited for the upcoming Eurovision week because y'all, we've made it, we've made it. It is the season where we actually have started to get rehearsal footages, meaning that we are a step closer. It's a big step, by the way, a step closer to the bigger picture. How is everything gonna look like? How the acts are gonna convey their artisanship and their talent? and what kind of stagings should we be expecting. Now, obviously, the takes that we have are just small and short snippets, which does not really give away much, which I think also is for a reason. Now, to be honest, I'm so excited to be doing this with you. Today is day three of rehearsals, and as I'm making this reaction, my reactions slash reviews for the day one and two are being uploaded on my channel. So I think by the time that everything is done, all these three days will be on my channel, but, but chronologically, I think it may be a bit confusing to have day three and then day one and two, but it is what it is. Now, today's rehearsals actually included one of the most anticipated stagings. I'm, I'm talking about like Greece, uh, we've got, and then Greece. Anyway, I'm all of them, I'm really excited to see, but obviously I'm a bit particularly excited to see Greece because everything's been so mysterious with you guys lately. I mean, what is this mystery? Now, let's calm down, react to these takes, and then we will have a quick chat. But before we do so, please subscribe to my channel and like this video for more exciting Eurovision content. Bear in mind, I'm pressed this year again, so I'll be coming up with some really exciting Eurovision content, and I'm also singing in Copenhagen, this Saturday at the Copenhagen pre-party. So if you are there, I cannot wait to throw myself on you in the crowd. Well, maybe I won't do that, but emotionally and spiritually, I want to do that. Ooh, Malta. You know what she is? I think they're underrated. Like she is a big player. <gasps> oh my God, that neon platform. Slick. I like the green. Oh my god, the, the twirls, the flips. It's giving me a seizure watching her. Where are the pyros? Yes, they're there. Okay, come on guys. I mean, let's take a pause. Let's take a pause. Seriously, anyone who says that Malta is not giving everything, I would say it's time for your annual checkup. But personally, I really feel like Malta is really good. Okay, next up, Albania. Girl, what are you wearing? Okay. Uh, mm. Am I seeing the same thing that you guys are seeing? What is that outfit? Mm. Mm. Okay, take a pause. Take a deep breath. Let's have a sip of my herbal tea. I need one more. Okay, it feels better. Um, I mean, I hope that there is a possibility of changing the outfit because Bessa is one of the most gorgeous women on earth. I don't know who made her wear that. Hmm. Okay, moving forward. Greece! Greece. Okay, wait, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. This is the moment that we are seeing the first big snippet from Greece. <gasps> and it's only one angle, right? D, D, D. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! Ah! Oh my god, it's so. <gasps> the background images, everything is crazy. <gasps> Bravo. Okay, quick pause. Seriously, this is actually... Oh, oh my god. These are just like seconds long, but... Wow, I think Greece is going to steal the show, guys. Thessaloniki 2025. That would be so good. And also would be amazing to travel to rather than a cold country. 
<laughs> well, to be honest, that's not the only measure, but to be honest, Thessaloniki to go in May next year gives me more life to hold on to, so... Okay, next up is Switzerland, which is a winning country, a uh, winning act in most of the polls. Let's see if it's going to happen. Well, what, let's see if it feels like it's going to happen. Oh, is that a... what is that? Vocals on point. Oh my god. Vocals? I mean, they are an incredible singer, like... Oh, the slide! Okay, look, I know that so many of you and so many of us actually don't really get their outfit choices, but to be honest, when it comes to Eurovision, not everything needs to be mutually accepted like not everything needs to fit into a box and i don't really know why so many eurovision fans are actually criticizing nemo for being like like an like an underdog and they are wearing you know weird stuff like it, on eurovision i think we have seen a lot of weird stuff and they've been winners and unforgettable performances they can sing and perform so let's go with that. Okay, next up. Oh, Czechia. I love this girl. I love this girl. Are the boobs on display? Ah. Uh, yes, but yeah, of course, it's not like fully displayed, but... <laughs> Give it five years on Eurovision. Everything will be on display. <laughs> I love what she's wearing. The trousers, slick, gorgeous. Black is a good choice on her look at the stage everything is in motion i think aiko has been the one act this year that really worked on herself and just became bigger <gasps> austria i mean colleen is eurovision Okay, this is... Oh! Look at the staging, the lights, everything is so equally dis distributed. No way, I didn't see that. Did I see a flip? Oh, top 10, darling. Those of you who said that I was delusional when I included her in my top 10, I hope you sleep well at night after seeing this. Oh my god, there's two of them! More sand? More sand everywhere! <gasps> oh, which one is real? Which one of them is real? I think the one in the bottom is not real because sand is coming out of her. That must be uncomfortable. Yes, the bigger one is the real one. That's a good strategy, y'all! You made me question my life. Okay, Denmark, you... you that's, that's, that's good, okay, carry on. Armenia! Parev. Oh, there's a full band on stage. I don't know how I feel about that because I wish I could see just them two because they're so cute together. But a band? I like the platform. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really know how I feel about the full band situation. But maybe that's the right thing to do. I still hope that they created like a little Armenian village on stage, but I think that's like maybe may not be possible given the capacities they have. But this is day three, y'all. Oh my god, it's already 10 minutes long. What do we think? Like, okay, first of all, Colleen, Marina Sati, and Aiko. Like, these three, Femme Fatales, they stole the show. I also feel like. We have to give credit to Nemo because they are just giving their best. I don't really enjoy seeing all of those like weird comments on the internet how people are confused, hence they don't like the act. Like you you're you're meant to be confused. It's your vision. Like if you're confused, it's actually good. 
let's talk about music, vocals, and everything. Like, Nemo is an incredibly well-fitting candidate to win. I personally think that he, they are going to be in the split screen, but after seeing these rehearsals, everything that I feel makes me rethink my top 10. Now, all of my people, what do you think about day three of rehearsals? What do you think about these incredible acts? Like, I don't know what to say, but when I say Marina, you say Sati. Marina! 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 And those of you who didn't say anything, I hope you revel in your misery. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm, I'm just really excited to welcoming the Eurovision week. Please let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below and I will see you there. Mwah.